everyone welcome to study that forum today we are going to learn about the reducer's law of combination of volume combination by volume and this time around uh, actually um, this video is based on the mind and i know that it's going to benefit you are going to benefit from it since you are happen to be part of the, uh, the teaching today and i want to encourage if you have not subscribed subscribe that's one of the ways you can encourage us to do more and also you leave your comments i'll be so happy to hear to hear from you because that's me that's a kind of a medium of me knowing that somebody really um is interested in what i'm doing so this time we're going to look at this we're going to look at this before i continue know that if you have not that you are not really encouraging us to do more so make sure you subscribe in order to encourage us to do more of this so here we have a reducers law of a uh, law of combination of combination by volume and this law states that when gases react they do so in volumes which is which is in a simple ratio to one another and to the product provided that the temperature and pressure remain the same. That's in other words to say that at STP, at constant temperature and pressure, everything remains the same. That means now let's look at it briefly. Um, I have an equation here. When it uh, during the first uh, analysis, the um, the experiment, he found out that when hydrogen combined with oxygen this is the ratio of their combination that is hydrogen combined in a ratio of two moles oxygen one mole and the product which is steam is um, two moles the same thing is applicable when chlorine and hydrogen combine you notice that one mole of hydrogen combined with one mole of chlorine to give us two moles of what hydrogen chloride gas so when we want to talk about the volume if we want to talk about volume now we can also say that this is two cm cube one cm cube and two cm cube according to the law you say that they combine volume which is a simple ratio which is which is in simple ratio with one another and to that of the product. So in the same thing here, we can also say that we have it in one cm cube. One cm cube of hydrogen we combine with one cm cube of um, chlorine to give us two cm cube of hydrogen chloride. So when you look at this, this thing is giving you the information of, on how each of these things will combine. Anyhow you take it, anyhow, if this one is highest, if the, let's say any of, the, if any of them is in excess, if any of these um, gases in excess, they will still try to maintain, they will maintain this ratio in every reaction they are going to undertake. So now, um, based on that, I want us to look at some calculations that will help us understand this and I want you to just pay attention as we are going through the, through the calculation and also at the, by the end of this video you will, I, will, um, I want you to watch to the end so that you will be able to see some other calculations regarding to Grelizer's law. I believe that by the time you watch these videos, Grelizer's calculation in regards to this will never be a problem to you again. So let's quickly look at that calculations. Okay now we have a Questions here. The number one question says 40 cm cube of hydrogen reacted with 60 cm cube of oxygen to produce steam. Calculate the volume of the residual gases. That's the equation of the reaction. Now let's look at the first question we have here. So from this, According to Gre 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 
Producers say that they do so in simple ratio with the volumes of the, the two reactants they combine in simple ratio with the volume of each other and then to the product. Now, looking at this, we can say that this one is what? 2 cm cube. And why this one is what? 1 cm cube. To give us 2 cm cube of um, steam. Now, now in this case, you find out that considering the ratio of the reaction, you find out that this is 40 and this one is what? 60. Which means, which means oxygen is, oxygen seems to be more than hydrogen. In other words, it means that all the hydrogen is going to combine. All the hydrogen is going to combine by now. Then now let's, what we're going to find out here, the first thing we're going to find out is how many volume of oxygen is required to combine with 40 cm cube of hydrogen. Once you're able to find out this, that means you are one way, one step to the what this solution of this problem. So now that's what the first thing we're going to do. Now we know that from here, it means that one, two cm cube of hydrogen will combine with 1 cm cube of oxygen. So that means then we can say 2 cm cube of what? Hydrogen. Then 1 cm cube of what? Of oxygen. So 40 cm cube of hydrogen. 40 cm cube of hydrogen will then be equal to 1 over 2 and 40 over 1. This will cancel out. We have um, 20 cm cube. That means, according to this Reluza's law, Reluza's law, it means that 20 cm cube of this will combine with what? 40 cm cube of hydrogen. Now, looking at it, you find out that the, there is excess of what? Oxygen. So the volume of the excess oxygen in this reaction, we can get it by excess, excess of what oxygen will then be 60 minus 20. We have what 40 cm cube. Now look at this very well. If I look at what happened here, at this reaction, 20 cm cube of this oxygen we will disappear, we disappear because it will combine with this uh, 40 cm cube of hydrogen. Now, the remaining, the one that, that did not react in the reaction is 40 cm cube, which is the excess. So this is the one of the things, because they say we're going to find the residual gases. This is going to play a role, very important role in the residual gases we are um, trying to find out. Now, the volume of this, this is one of them. So another thing that you are expected to see here, because at the end of this reaction, 40 cm cube of hydrogen will disappear when it combined with 20 cm cube of oxygen. Now, what will remain here will be um, the steam that is produced and the extra volume of this oxygen. I believe we are together in this game now. We are together in the game of uh, chemistry calculation. All right, now, <laughs> so in this one, so what we have here is that we'll come over to this place. Looking at the same ratio, because based on uh, uh, Gerdiza's uh, um, law, you should also look at this ratio, that ratio of their combination. If this one is 2 cm, this one is 1 cm, this one is 2 cm, that means 2 cm of this, of oxygen, will produce 2 cm cube, uh, 2 cm cube of what? Steam. So if this one is 40 cm cube, 40 cm cube of hydrogen, we also produce 40 cm cube of steam. So another gas that we have here remaining is also steam. The steam that we have. The steam is equal to what volume of it produces was 40 cm cube. Now we are talking about residual gas. The residual gas is here it would then be the excess oxygen, which is this, plus the steam that is produced. Adding them up, total total volume total volume of what 
residual residual gases. Residual gases will then be um, 40 plus 40, that will give us 80 cm cube. 80 cm cube. So the next thing we are going to do now, let's try the second one. The second one that stated that the second one said if 60 cm cube, if 60 cm cube of carbon 2 sparked with 20 cm cube of oxygen at SDP, calculate the total volume of gas after the reaction. Now we have a chemical equation there for us there. Now we see this case, in this case we are going to apply the total volume of gas gases after the reaction. In the same way, it does not really make any difference. We, what we're going to do here again, you remember the law because the Gerlusa's law must be uh, respected or obeyed. So once you don't obey it, you you go to jail. They will take you to jail for disobeying the law. So you must also you must make sure you are law abiding um, citizen of chemistry uh, nation. <laughs> so here um, we have our chemical equation. In the same way, we can also say that this is two cm cube, one cm cube, and then we have well, again two cm cube. We've seen that they are almost the same thing. The relationship based on what we have solved before, seen that the whole thing is almost going the same way again, the same ratio. So in this case now, we look at it. This is 60 cm cube. This is 20 cm cube. Now, if you look at it, find out that this one is 60 cm cube. And this one is about 20 cm cube. Well, in this case, this is in excess. What we are going to find out now is volume of this that will volume of carbon 2 that is required to burn completely in what 20 cm cube of what oxygen. So to do that, what we do now is that um, we know from this here, so one cm cube of one cm cube of what oxygen will require. 2 cm cube of carbon, carbon 2. So now, since you have 20 cm cube, 20 cm cube, 20 cm cube of what oxygen will require 2 over 1 times 20 over 1. That will give us what? 40 cm cube of what? Um, carbon 2. So, say we are cal calculating the total volume of gases. Now, this is one of the gases. Okay, this is not one of them because this one will go into reaction with this, and all of them will disappear. So one of the gases we are expecting expected, we're expecting to be part of the this will be the excess of this will have um excess of carbon two will then be sixty minus forty. That will give us that will give us a uh, twenty cm cube this is one of the gas we need 20 cm cube is one of the gases one of the gas we need in this uh, one of the gases that we need in this uh, um after the reaction so the next gas that we need here is the product which is carbon 4 because this this 20 cm cube of this we combine with this leaving behind 20 which is in excess so now in the carbon 4 to like we did in the previous one we find out that from this ratio from this ratio and that ratio it means that this one will also give us i mean this carbon that combined this one is 40 for the carbon 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 2 now since it's 40 here it means that this other one should also be what 40 that means the um carbon 4 volume of the you can say that volume of carbon 4 produced, carbon 4 is what it was 40 cm cube. What am I writing? 40 cm cube. Now, adding it up with the um, excess of this carbon 2, we we'll have that will give us 60 cm cube. So, thank you so much for you know watching the video to this point. And, and I what to assure you, make sure you watch the video that is coming next after this because this video will, this video will help you understand more, see different version of this calculation that has to do with 
to a lizard. Thank you so much. Now, like I told you, just encourage us by words and subscribing to our channel and leave a comment for us. Thank you so much.